Hi everyone, this is Mary Mitchell again. Um, today, there's a few miscellaneous things that, um, you know, I always have one or two or three or four or five or ten miscellaneous things. Let's jump right in. I need to cut a piece of poster board to fit between this 11 by 14 piece of canvas. The dimensions in between the canvas, uh, I don't know, ignore that. The, the canvas is 11 by 14, but the wood underneath each side measures one inch. Um, so when you do the math, I need to cut a nine by 12 piece of poster board to fit snugly in between the wood of this canvas uh, so that what I pour over, whether it be paint or resin, will not force it to, to uh, sag. And that's the whole point of this demonstration. So let's move forward. Um, somebody asked about, not me, but I read it and it made me think. Um, and this is the part of Facebook I don't like. Um, you know, who's the best, in your opinion, who's the best, uh, I guess, boring artist out there? And uh, Oh, just something felt really wrong about that. And, uh, you know, it's free world. Free world. You can ask whatever questions you want. And uh, it's certainly not me. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> you know, um, I'm a better painter than I am a pourer. Uh, I usually paint over my pores. I usually em embellish them. But um, I, I that, that question made me feel uncomfortable because... Um, we don't need that kind of, we don't need that kind of um, vibe, I don't think, out there, but again, it's my opinion, okay? They're wonderful, these uh, Facebook forums, I love them, I've learned so much on them, but I didn't belong to, to not a one, when I started pouring, and I relied heavily on the internet. Uh, and I relied heavily on the, what I like to call the sort of like the pioneers who were out there first. And, um, and uh, I got a lot of information that way, but I also followed it, followed it up. So, you know, do yourself a favor and just follow everything up, okay? Um, because we're all basically speaking from our own experience uh, in, in some cases, and I always keep it back here. Oh yeah, I remember a while ago when so-and-so said that, look, you never thought it could happen to you, and it just did. So here we go. So here, you're going to need your measuring tape. I don't care if it's tape or one of these, something, anything that uh, you, know, you can measure with. And you're going to need a box cutter or exacto knife or something that you can cut poster board with, of course. You're going to need your T-square. And um, you're going to uh, be measuring the canvas. Here it is. And um, we're going to be measuring the poster board so that we can fit it snugly inside in between the wood of this canvas. And here we go. Okay, so here I'm showing you my 11 by 14 and you're gonna see me measure it. Uh, just to show you that it's an 11 by 14. Eventually, I do take the frog tape off because I don't want it to hinder me getting the poster board onto the back of the frame. So um, I'm measuring the sides, you know, before I, I decided to, to take off the tape, I was, I thought maybe I could work with it on there, but I ended up saving the tape so that it doesn't go to waste. But um, I'm showing you that I want to get the straight sides in and uh, how I want the board to fit, the poster board, how I want the poster board to fit when um, I cut it to the right specifications, how I want it to fit snugly, uh, snugly against the wood frame and not slip under um, between the wood and the canvas. Otherwise, we're going to, it will defeat the purpose of what we're trying to achieve here. So right now I'm just marking the poster board up with the T-ruler 
and um, deciding which way. I decide this way is uh, is cutting it too close, so I have to go the the uh, the length the longer end of the poster board to cut it to the nine by twelve specification, and that's my box knife that I use to cut this with. I'm sure there are many other things out there. I found this to be easier. I have an an exacto knife. Um, this one I found to be uh, the best for me. Um, so I'm just making my marks for a nine by twelve and a nine by twelve piece that I want to cut so that it will fit snugly into the canvas. So here you see, I'm just going to quickly make a bunch of little marks. And I, I mean almost dots. Um, I don't want my lines to be too big or too small. Uh, you know, as I'm marking with the ruler as I go along, I wanna keep them as small as possible, as many as I can get so I can Rest assured that I get a straight line with uh, along with the, the T-roller. I did not realize that my battery had run low, and I usually try to keep my phone plugged in, uh, but I didn't, I neglected to do that, and so you're not going to be seeing me cut this. You're going to be seeing me trim this because I had a difficult time trimming this down um, and I will explain that a little further on but uh, I just want to explain why you're not seeing me cut this 9 by 12 piece of poster board and uh, it's because I'm going along happily thinking uh, oh you know this is good stuff and only to go try to find the video and it's not there. And, and I recalled saying, seeing low battery, but I, I still thought it had recorded it, but it did not. So I apologize for that. I was very disappointed when I realized that, you know, that whole segment wasn't recorded. I was so proud of, of uh, how, how it came or I thought how it was coming out. I'm showing you anything can be turned into a tool, and that red thing that you're looking at is actually a spatula where the ends are soaking right now. I'm pulling the poster board out of the canvas, and I kept this in this, this um, how-to recording because I wanted you to see that sometimes things go wrong, and I'm pointing to my issue. Now, remember, now I'm, pull, I'm showing you my quote tool, <laughs> and I'm pulling the cardboard poster board back out because I can't understand. Well, actually, no, I think re I, it, I did realize actually what it was, um, or, or I suspected, let me put it that way, because it just wasn't right. It was too tight. It was just way too tight. So I'm trimming it more. And I still think I can salvage this piece of canvas. And I meant piece of poster board, not canvas. Sorry about that. I was really having a hard time with it. And I couldn't get it to be as even as I wanted it to get to be. Uh, it was driving me nuts. Uh, so anyway, I'm going on, along and I'm trimming it and I'm putting it in and it's not it's all kind of lopsided and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, uh, let, let me think about this for a second. Now, when I cut the nine by 12, I left a little bit, very, it was like a very minuscule amount, um, of extra, um, on the nine by 12, just enough so that it would be snug enough. But, it's very possible I am thinking a couple of things happened. I overcompensated and I probably didn't cut it close enough. That's one. Number two, the canvas I was trying to fit it into was uh, was warped. Um, the It wasn't even. The sides were not one inch each side. 
So I had this aha moment and I have another uh, 11 by 14 piece of canvas and I'm taking, you know, I'm doing some kind of measuring with, with um, the leveler and um, I turned the camera off for a little bit because I wanted to just, just do a little investigating. Okay, and I said, all right, let me get the rest of this junk off because I can't trim this anymore. And I had another 11 by 14 because I've been practicing on them. And let me trim this, let me trim this, uh, you know, the rest of the, I've been, I was trimming it just so you know, in very, very small increments. I wasn't trimming large amounts off. I was trimming very small amounts because I did not want this to slip underneath between the wood and the canvas. So it felt like I was, it felt to me like I was trimming a lot off, but I wasn't because it works at the end and it wouldn't if it, if it wasn't the right size. So I'm using my leveler and then, and then, Trying to see, you know, okay, I, with all the trimming, I probably went wrong somewhere as far as it being even enough, and maybe one side is a little higher than the other side, and that was actually the case, and it wasn't a lot. It doesn't take a lot, believe me, with this, with this kind of thing, it really doesn't take a lot for it to throw you off. That's why I usually, if, it's, if I have to cut a 9 by 12, I usually will leave a very small amount to work with um, extra because you can always take away, but you can't add. Please remember that. You can't add. See that piece evening it up? I need this to go flush down. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. Perfect. Perfect. This is 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 perfect. It worked. It worked. It worked. So I'm manipulating the uh, poster board, and because it's snug between all sides of the wood, and I don't want it to slip between the wood and the canvas, um, you can see that you can easily manipulate this now because it's just the right size to be able to. Um, and it's even, um, so this is perfect. I want to put the resin on here. You can feel me, you can see me pushing down on it. Um, the resin's going to stay, you know, on the uh, thing. And if you want to push it up just to, you know, manipulate it with your hands. Make sure that it's, you know, right from underneath. You see me doing this. And you can see it against the wood. It's not under the canvas, it's, is it crude? Yeah, does it work? Absolutely. Look, okay, well, I want you to see this because, because I hate to be wrong. No, but look at it, it's an inch. It's exactly an inch. You see that? Look, there's another one. This is exactly an inch. This is not. In this shot where you see right there, if you look at the wood, it comes out where that knot is and a piece came off. So it was about, um, about an inch and a quarter roughly. Anyway, it did throw, it threw me off and that was enough. The moral of the story is this, try not to get this piece under the between the wood and the canvas try not to get it in there try to keep it flush to the wood that's why i said to cut a little bit over because if you can snug it in there and then push it down without getting it underneath you might have to get it underneath when you're first putting it in but then you want to take something like this. I mean, this is so funny. This is it's actually a spatula that I took the ends off of. But it just goes to show you can find a tool anywhere in your house. But something, you know, that's not, I mean, it's, it's hard, but it's still, it's round, it's, it has some give, and I was able to push. So it'll work, and I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna resin this, um, and you'll see. You'll see that it works.
And something that I realized I learned with you tonight is that when we're measuring the board that we're putting in there, one way we can do it is to lay the flat side, even side, down. And if you look at this, I'm, I'm sure you can see it, but you can see that the bubble's not even in the middle. It's like way over here. Um, I think you can see it, but here I'll just keep it here just so you can. I'm going to remember that. Have a good night. Thanks for joining me. Take care, everybody.